Well, it's the first Saturday of the month, and that means we're taking a walk on the wild <laughs> side. Joining us right now are zoological manager Liz Anderson and Aileen Van Pelt, the media relations and development manager at the Palm Beach Zoo. They brought a hedgehog this morning. <laughs> Too cute. We've all fallen in love. <laughs> Introduce us. That's right. So this is Thomas. He's our four-toed hedgehog. <laughs> and uh, hedgehogs oh, come from Central and uh, <laughs> South Africa. They uh, are mostly insectivores, but Thomas was actually a former pet. Um, and sometimes, as much as we try to encourage people to avoid exotics as pets, they still decide that an exotic animal is right for them. And in that case, hedgehogs are actually a pretty good choice. They're pretty small, mm -hmm. so they're relatively easy to feed and house, and they're solitary, so they don't have a lot of social needs. Sure, and it, boy, is he cute. Um, or she, I don't know. He. 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 Okay. Yes. So, so tell us, I mean, they have that prickly appearance, but it's not like a porcupine, right? You're exactly right. Yeah. Um, porcupines have the ability to lose their quills, just like our hair falls out, whereas uh, hedgehog spines are intact. They don't, they don't lose their spines the way that a porcupine loses its quills. Now I hear that Thomas and I, we have something in common. We both like to paint. And of all things, who knew that a hedgehog could do this? Could you explain what that's all about? Sure, <laughs> sure. Well, as you can see, uh, he's pretty mobile. He likes to explore his environment. So we have uh, taught him to paint somewhat opportunistically. We'll put him on a table just like this, put various spots of paint around him, and he'll walk through the paint. And then we'll put out the canvas nice for him to walk on, and Oops. he gets his little footprints all over the canvas. We actually have two paintings painted by Thomas himself. Not bad, so, Thomas. And we sell them at the zoo. So, you know, if you love hedgehogs and or any animal really that's a pretty that. cool gift so, actually. It is. it's a really cool gift now <laughs> you do have some wonderful events coming up at the zoo tell us a little bit about that we do march is full of lots of great events our very popular breakfast with the bunny is back it's march 23rd 24th and march 30th and we have two different seatings on all three days it's 8 30 and 10 30 and what you get with that is full admission to the zoo buffet breakfast an egg hunt pictures with the easter bunny and we've got price differences between members and non-members, and all of that is available on our website at palmbeachzoo.org. you got to reserve in advance, and it goes fast, so sure. get on there right now. And then we've also got, we talked about this last time, family overnight, camping out at the zoo. Right. So we had it for President's Weekend, and then we're having it again for spring break, the first Saturday in spring break. So for families who want something different to do, you can go camping, look at the zoo at night, see our nocturnal animals, you know, just a great experience. You also get pizza and continental breakfast, you make an enrichment item for an animal that you get to bring the next day, the next morning, and see them enjoy what you made for them. And how rewarding and fun is that? Oh, so much fun. Well, thank you for introducing us to Thomas. We're definitely big fans of this little guy now. He's too cute. Well, stay with us. We'll be right back after this.